Hello. Uh, all right. Wanted to show you uh, some updates that's going to be coming up for the uh, rocket stove. Primarily, uh, my uses are for wood stove power generations. I, I also like hooking them to a charge controller. Uh, you got to remember that when you hook these up, you got to check the voltages on them. And whatever the voltages are, you got to put enough of them in series. Generally, what you need is if you're going to charge a 12 volt battery, I like to have at least 18 volts or about 18 volts to charge it. Anywhere from 18 to 20 will do real good. Uh, I think those are 4.3 volts a piece. So uh, that's four of them. And those are the 6.0s. Those are uh, the TEG 1 12611 6.0. And that's from uh, uh, the thermalelectric-generator.com. Uh, this is one of their units that they sell. Uh, it's already prefab. It's got the heat sink on it. Uh, that's going to be going on. That's the small one that I built with the copper. It's going to be going on. Uh, you see that we got the PEX fittings on the pump here. Now, this is a DC really a solar DC pump. The reason I like this pump is this pump starts working as little as 8 volts, you know, and so uh, as your TEG starts to warm up before they get hot, this will go ahead and kick in and move something over it, uh, move some uh, coolant over it, and they're only, that's a 5 watt pump. Uh, that little 5 watt pump there is, uh, its max flow is about uh, 10 liters a minute, and its max head pressure is about 2.3 meters. Uh, and uh, so we're going to be moving the water through these TEGs with this pump and we've seen the waterfall on the rocket stove to cool it and this is a little heater that we've built it's a little oak cabinet and uh, I don't know let me get a little closer to see if you can see the grill in there so you can see through it because the back's not on the cabinet right now that's a little radiator let me pull that out so you can see it I'm going to step over here Excuse me one second. So this is a small radiator that right there. And that come out of something for HVAC. I got that out of a scrap pile. And I cut the fittings off of it that were on it and put PEX fittings on there. I run a lot of this stuff with PEX because it's quick and easy. And so uh, what we're going to be doing is that will be in the box here. And we'll have the thermal electrics on the stove and then we will PEX this to another area of the house push it through that radiator and then this here is a 5 watt computer fan here that also happens to be 12 volts it has a little shroud on the back and that little fan will be uh, will be behind this radiator inside of this box pushing that air out into the house we kind of uh, You've seen those little, I don't know what they call them, uh, heaters, uh, little wood heaters, but that, that we kind of made it kind of look like that, or but similar with that in mind. But that is really all you should need to be able to take that from a garage or another location, circulate that hot water through this, uh, and uh, push a little hot. Now, how hot your water gets, we found, you can tune this because how hot your water gets will depend on how much water you use. Uh, less water, the, hot, the hotter it will, uh, it will get and the more heat you will get. So we don't know if this is going to give off much heat because we don't want to get our water too hot because it will downgrade how much electricity we get. So I'm not sure if we're going to use this box. We may use this box in a, in a separate closed loop. We may use the thermal electrics to push it, but I'm not sure the heat is going to come off the thermal electric device or not. We may use a heat exchanger, a copper coil inside the stove to push the uh, water through. Um, we'll see how it works out. We're going to try a couple setups before we actually uh, try this uh, uh, setup or, or make a video of the setup. So we'll uh, we're going to be making that. We're going to be adding these additions to the rocket stove, and I'm, I'll make that the rocket stove part two. So uh, I don't know if we'll get these thermal, all the thermal electrics on it, 
the big 6.0s here. I don't know if we'll get these on it, but we'll be definitely getting a small one on it. And we've seen the Pelty Air fans, and I kind of like the, the, the fans. And so this small unit here is just two 5-watt chips, and I think they're 4.3 4 volts apiece. Uh, so that's going to be putting out a little bit of over 8 volts. So the ideal with this is, is this is going to sit on the wood stove and this is going to run directly to uh, a 6 volt LED lantern. And so you know how the fans just sit up there and run? Well, my question is, is why isn't there a light that just sets up for a wood stove and runs? Be uh, fairly simple to do. And so that's our hopes with that one. And that's just an extra pump there. We, we may use that on the waterfall. Don't know what the setup's going to be just yet. Uh, we'll, we'll let you know when the uh, new video is made and make sure we get it posted. Thanks for watching.